Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create parallax effect and transparent text illusion on scroll without the use of any line of CSS code. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to create something that looks like this. So while we scroll, you can see the effect. Okay. The smooth scrolling effect. Now we're going to achieve this without the use of any line of CSS code easily. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In our elemental editing screen, what we're going to do first is we're just going to come over here. Let's add a container, a flexbox container, and let's select this structure here. Okay, now let's come over to the content width and let's set the width to full width. And then for the minimal height, we're going to set change the unit from pixel to VH and then giving the value of 100. And then we're going to come over here, justify content to the center and align items to the center as well. We're going to head over to the style option and then we're going to, for the background, we're going to set the background color to black. Okay, now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the advanced settings and then we're going to give a padding of 100 all around. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to drag a container and drop the container here. Now for this container here, we're going to call it our parent container. And then for this container here, we're going to call this one the child container. The reason I'm renaming this container is so that you know which container I'm referring to. Okay, so now for the child container, what we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to come over here. This chart container, we're going to set it to full width. And then within it, we're just going to come over and uh, we're going to drag and drop an image to it. Okay. So now for this image here, we're going to select an image for that. We're going to select this image. Okay. Now we're going to go to the style option for the image. And for the maximum width, we're going to change the uniform percentage to view viewport width and then we're going to give it a value of 25 okay and then we're going to head to the advanced settings for this same image and for the aligned self we're going to align it to the end so we now have our image well placed here okay so we'll now go back to our style option now come down to the border ranges and for the image we're going to give the image the border ranges of 10 pixel all around okay now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over to our widget area. We're going to drag a heading widget and drop it right above the image. Okay, so now we're going to bring it within the chart container, but right above the, the, the image. Okay, so this is our heading here. And what we're going to write here, we're going to write uh, deep blue C. Okay, now we're going to tweak this text a little bit. So we'll go to the style option, align it to the center, then for the text, we're going to change the text color to white. Okay. And then we're going to come over to the typography. For the font family, we're going to set it to Helvetica. Okay. Yes, you can set your font family to whatever font family you want. Whatever font family that works for you, you can go with that. Okay. So now for our font size, we're going to change the uniform pixel to VW. That's viewport width. I'm going to give it a value of 9. Then we're going to come over here to the width and we're going to set the width to bold 900 bucks. We'll now have something like this. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over and then we're going to go to the advanced settings for this heading text. And uh, we're going to come to the width. First of all, we're going to set it to full width, 100% full width. And then we're going to come over here to the position and we're going to position it to absolute. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here for the vertical orientation. We're going to change the unit from pixel to VW, and then we're going to give it a value of, um, let's say 15 VW. Okay, let's see where. Okay, so this is wonderful. This is well placed. Okay, so now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here to our motion effect, and we're going to add some animation to this text here. So we're going to come over to the scrolling effect and then for the horizontal scroll, we're going to come over and leave the direction to the left. And then for the speed, we're going to increase the speed value to six. And for the viewport, we're going to leave it the way it is. So now we now have something like this, you can see. Now, not to worry about this because we do not have space to scroll. That is why this effect is not taking place fully on our scroll. Okay. So now. I'm just going to come over here. The next thing we're going to do here before we proceed is we're going to duplicate this 
text here so that we can create that transparency illusion here okay so to do so we're going to duplicate this okay and then we're going to rename the first one we're going to call it front that's the front text and then this one here we're going to call it the back text now what we're going to do is we're going to place one of the, the front text in front of this image and then the back text we're going to place it at the back of the image okay so now now that we've done that for the front text what we're going to do is we're going to go to the style option uh, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to change the text color from black, from white to transparent and then we're going to come over to the text stroke and then we're going to set the, the stroke to two pixel and for the color we're going to set the color to white okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we're just going to come over to the advanced settings and then we're going to give our front text the z index value of five okay and then we're going to go to the back now for the back we're going to go to the advanced settings and we're going to give it a z index of zero okay and then now we can see our effect we can see our effect is only really work there we can see that the c seems like it is uh transparent or we can see through it okay so now the next thing we're going to do before we proceed let's just see what we've done so i'm just going to come over here to the top here i'm going to add uh an empty container here so we just select this container give it a maximum height of 100 and then let's come here below this container let's add another container and give it a maximum height of viewport height 100 okay so now let's come over and see what we scroll what happens okay you can see our effects showing beautifully while we scroll okay so now the next thing we're going to do let's add some uh animation to our image as well so now for the image we'll go to the advanced settings and we'll come over here to the motion effect turn on the scrolling effect and then for the vertical scroll we're just going to come over here now we're going to leave the direction up and then for the speed we're going to set the speed to 1.5 and then for the viewport we're going to leave it the way it is we're going to come over to the scroll horizontal scroll uh, for the direction we're going to set the direction to the right and then for the speed, we're going to set the speed to 1.5. Okay. And for the viewport, we're going to leave it the way it is. So now, this is what we have while we scroll. You can see this is it. Okay. Now, you notice that while we scroll to a point, we can see that there is an overflow here. Okay. So for this overflow, like I've always been doing, we're going to correct that by just coming over here to our parent container. Now for this parent container, we're going to go to the layout. Under the layout, we'll come over to the additional option. And for the overflow, we're going to set it to hidden. Okay. So now while we scroll, we can see our effect working perfectly. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this effect here. We're going to duplicate it. And then for this one here, what we're going to do is for the image, we're going to come over here, go to the advanced settings for the image. And instead of align self to the end, we're going to align self to the start. Okay, and then we just gonna come over here to our text. Now for the text for the front text, we're gonna change it to Ocean Beauty, and then we're gonna copy this. And then for the back text, we're gonna change it as well to the same text. Okay, so now that we've done that, as you can see, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna change this image. Okay, so for the image, we're going to come over here to the content and then we're going to load another image. Let's select this image here. Okay, now we can see now that due to the fact that this image, this first image here has black edges, our border radius was not showing, but for this image, our border radius is showing. So now all we just need to do is to click on update and we are good to go. So we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, remember to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it as well. And if you're new to our channel, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. And feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused or have any suggestion. And I'll do it to attend to as much as I can. But until then, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.